Uh, hello, welcome back. This is part two of this Vidly review. Uh, so what I was saying is that the the more you post quality type of content, the better uh, and the more authoritative your channel will become, which obviously means you're going to start ranking for other shorter tail keywords and all in all the channel is going to perform better and those 20% may turn into 30% may turn into 40% but not just that but you'll also be getting more traffic which means more leads as well but it's a process you've got to build up to and you've got to get good at ranking and remember it's not just about ranking if your video doesn't relate to your audience well you, you, there's no point being at the top of google because at the end of the day we're still talking to humans okay this software is about doing what youtube and google like but you need to remember there's also a human side to this where humans are going to be watching your videos and they're going to be making a decision so if you post rubbish videos you're not going to get those leads okay anyway so what we can do here is we can filter stuff and you know change the order etc so what we know is now if i get this what i'm going to do i'm going to just put yes that's the good one or let's just put very easy just okay so next we want to take this keyword And we're going to pull it in like so and do research. Okay, so, uh, right, sorry about that, someone called me, but here we are on the, uh, we, we've, we're on our second keyword now, and it's saying that this is going to be really hard to rank for, okay, and isn't it good that we now have realised how hard this is to rank for, instead of now wasting time trying to rank for it, and just to give you an idea, uh, Vidly is saying that Although the rewards are great by having a potential of 2,314 views per day, in order to get to that position, we would need to somehow get over 148,000 views on our single video, followed by over 8,500 likes, followed by 2,765 comments. And... <clears throat> That is quite a lot, but there is something else to that you should uh, pay attention to. And being realistic, you know, I know from experience, but I'm going to show you how you can tell this, what I'm about to say. But I know being realistic, there's absolutely no way on this planet you're going to get that sort of search, uh, that sort of search volume for a low call long tail keyword like this. And then looking at the average views that uh, the, the search term is getting apparently is over 1.5 million views and the maximum one is 7.2 million views. It's not realistic. So why isn't it realistic? Well, let's just have a look down. And actually, look at these videos. None of these videos, well, maybe this one and this one. So there's three videos here out of this one, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, so there's three videos out of ten. So seven, there's seven other videos which are to do with entertainment purposes. And for whatever reason, we can question it if we want to. I'm personally not. There's, uh, there's no point because I, you know, but for some reason, this search term or people of this search term is showing these sort of videos and not just that but i can tell by this sort of video here that this is fairly well optimized yeah you know, this one's not great but this one's pretty well optimized and this is still number five 
So there's, for whatever reason, there's more viral like videos like this, and uh, you know, you see these views, which are ranking really well for this search term. So trying to compete with, the, with them for this search term, it's not really worth it because the chances are, unless someone's like really, really dying for, uh, for finding a plumber on YouTube, for this search term, which they're not, if they're really, really desperate, they'll be typing an emergency uh, or uh, fix today quote sort of thing. So that's not the sort of search term that they're going to be going for. But just for your personal reference, until you build up the experience to know these things, just look at the other type of videos and say to yourself, yeah, these are entertainment videos, as you can see. I can tell by the thumbnails, but these are entertainment videos. They have millions of or hundreds of thousands of views. It's not realistic. So, uh, and you can see the software is saying it's very hard. So what we can do is we can say right here, very, oh, very hard. Oh, hard. There we go. Okay. So next, let's take the next search term, paste that in and do research. <clears throat> I do apologize, I've, uh, I've got a bit of a cold. Well, actually it's not a cold, it's long COVID. <laughs> you know, which uh, my, my chest isn't doing very well with it, but let's persevere. Okay, so the next we have plumbing services, Sugarland, Texas, okay? And you can see really easily <clears throat> that it's saying very easy. So let's have a look at their rec recommendation. So it's saying we will need around about 20 views, 12 likes and five comments. And being realistic, you can get 20 views just by sharing it on your social media pages or pulling it onto Reddit. Getting 20 views is really not difficult because, you know, if you think, if just think about all the people in your life, you could literally, if you've got a laptop, you can watch it on that. If you've got a desktop, you can watch it on that. If you have an iPad, you can watch it on that. If you have a phone, you can watch it on that. If your wife has different devices, you can watch it on that, okay? If you have a TV, which is uh, you're able to stream YouTube videos on, you can watch it on that, okay? So already that's like seven or eight views that you'll get. It's not difficult and on each one you can like and comment, okay? Um, so if you so you're potentially getting around about 16 views per day and 206 average views is what these people are, have gotten so far uh, minimum is two views and maximum is 11,000 views and if we scroll down you can see that there's a, it's predominantly plumbers but most of them aren't even optimized so let's have a look this video even though it says an seo score of 10 the thumbnail isn't very good it's it's not optimized at all you can barely see the writing scroll down rank number two again thumbnail not very good rank number three the thumbnail is a bit better but not the best thumbnail four not great five that's all right uh, although the number should be placed somewhere else because uh, it's going to be cut off at the bottom there and the rest of these are just not very good okay so the chances are you could probably very easily rank for this and if you just create a decent thumbnail which really isn't that hard you just put a, your big number there then the chances are you're going to uh, outrank everyone else and get better clicks okay so this is definitely a yes so we're gonna do very easy Okay, so finally, the next keyword is this one here. Let's go ahead and put this in and do research. Okay, so it's saying it will be very easy, which is definitely interesting. So let's just have a look. So it's saying that uh, the recommendation is over 500,000 views, which seems to be very far-fetched. So it, it looks like we're getting some entertainment videos in here as well. And it could also mean that there's not really many people 
trying to rank for this exact keyword as well, which is why it's bringing up this sort of data. So let's have a scroll. Uh, so this person's kind of trying to rank. Um, so there's only one other video that's even remotely trying to rank for that sort of keyword. So there is a good chance that you can rank for these sort of keywords. And I'm just gonna, on YouTube, I'm just gonna type in, um, I can't remember, I think it was plumbing, plumbing services, uh, Preston, is it? Yeah, so, so this was at one point um, a difficult keyword because there was another person, or was it personal chef services? Ah, okay. So here's one in the entertainment industry. And what's funny is that you can see I ranked a video here for personal chef, uh, chef services. And there was this massive entertainment channel with over 5 million views. And the person has 18 million views and I still outranked him. So it's definitely possible to outrank these channels, but the likelihood of it you know, unless you get everything right, sometimes it's still best not to. It can also bring some unwanted traffic as well because the chances are these search terms have been overrun by these large influencers. So again, it's not really the sort of people that are going to respond well to your video, even if they click it, okay? <clears throat> So, but I did want to show you that it is possible to still outrank entertainment channels, even from uh, channels that have no views, okay? So for this one, I personally, I'm just gonna say no, okay? So out of the four keywords, we found two keywords that we are happy ranking with, which is these two, okay? Ooh. So I'm just going to clean, take away the very easy bit, save that. Okay, cool, right? Okay, so the next step, what I'm gonna do, I wanna show you the details tab um, because I think this video is getting a bit too long now. So what we can do is we're gonna take the keyword and the next step, sorry, just before that, you are gonna wanna build a large portfolio of keywords that are pretty easy to rank for or you believe you can rank for. Okay, the more videos, the more keywords you're targeting, the, you know, it's kind of like the louder you're shouting. <clears throat> okay, so let's take the first keyword and head over to the, oh, sorry, and I did forget, here's the generate PDF. So you can actually click one button and then open it up and you will have all of that details for that. And you can actually send that to clients if you're on the agency plan or whatever you need to do. Okay, so let's go over to video details. Okay, I'm just gonna delete this. So what this area does is it actually creates text based on your keywords that YouTube likes. So it's basically helping you structure and optimize your text in the best possible way to rank on YouTube and Google. And this has an enormous impact on your rankings because ultimately it's letting YouTube know what's going on and it's letting um, Google know what's going on and it's letting your audience know what's going on. And it's a good way of, you know, obviously with the terminology and keywords of YouTube knowing, hey, that's this is what this video is about, so we're gonna rank it more, okay? So you go over to generate details and you put in your main keyword, okay? And you can select a different niche, you can create custom templates, but uh, we're actually gonna do local business and we're gonna change this to plumber, okay? So plumber is actually a local niche, so you can use their templates. Then you're gonna go over to next step. <clears throat> And it's gonna show related keywords all about your core keyword, which is exactly what you wanna include. So an emergency plumber is definitely a related one. Could be drain cleaning services. It could be 24 hour plumber near me, plumbing services list, service plumber near me, plumber, so, okay. So you can have, uh, you can only add five in, okay? 
So next you move on to next step and you would put in the city that you want to rank for, the phone number you want to rank for and the website that you want to rank for. and the websites you want to rank for. So if you don't have a website, put in your social media. If you don't have your social media, uh, just put something in that is like a call to action. So I'm just gonna put www.google.com just, just for the sake of it, okay? Next, you wanna click on generate and then do generate details. <clears throat> and then in a couple of seconds, that's done. And now you've got this result here. So go ahead and click on it. And now this opens up the title and the description followed by the tags. Now this is a really cool area because you can click on here and if you don't like the title, you can always regenerate it. Okay, and then it's regenerated it and it will give you the option to change it or cancel it. So if I do cancel, okay, you can see. Now the reason these areas are highlighted is because these are what we call dynamic fields, which is ultimately the keywords. They've been, these are the core keywords that you wanna rank for. So yeah, then you've got the description below. And again, you can regenerate it. You can even edit it if you want. And a really important thing to remember is that most people don't look past here. <clears throat> most people won't go into the rest of it, especially with these sort of things. They just want to, um, they just want to get the contact number or the email or the website and contact you straight away, okay? Then you have all the tags, and again, it's included all of them, and you can add suggested titles, sentences, and tags, okay? So just by clicking on these. Okay, and I'm gonna give that a wrap for now. If you want me to continue with this software, go ahead and let me know. But we're gonna say, I'm gonna say thank you, and I will talk to you later.